Rhinox Nomad 2.1. I think these bags are really good. The epic mega ride of roughly 6,000 kilometers is going to begin. So this is the next day. Yesterday it was so late that I couldn't shoot anything. Now you can see properly the design. So you see the shape of the saddlebag. It's slightly angular so that this can fit on any bike which has an upswept exhaust. So Duke 390 has an upswept, upswept exhaust over here. This is not going to get burned because of the exhaust fumes. You just Let me just show you guys how to install this. Okay, first of all, we need to attach these two straps together. So this one, this will go here, attached over here. So this becomes the basic shape. And you just hold this in your hand and then place it on top of the bike like this. And then you just strap it up. It takes a bit of time, it takes about 5 to 7 minutes. So I'll quickly strap up the saddlebag and then I'll show you the final look. Okay boys and girls, the saddlebag is all fixed onto the bike. This is what it looks like. I think it looks superb. It really goes well with the sporty look of the bike. So you see, no issues with the exhaust now. It's specially designed for bikes with upswept exhaust. I think it looks really good on the bike. 32 liters on each side. Got plenty of storage space. Nice red color inside. Bottle holder, but more than a bottle, I think I'm going to be putting two liters of fuel. It's got its own rain covers, one for each. So that's it. These are the two main straps that hold the bag up. Really strong quality Velcro. And you have one attachment over here. There's another strap over here another tiny strap to make adjustments so you see if i pull it point this is another point just like that side and yeah this is what it looks like from behind now only once i set out on the trip i'll be able to tell you guys how the quality so that was a quick installation video of the Rhinox Nomad. The mega ride is going to start soon. So look forward to those vlogs and see you.